Heureux. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we've changed up the format a little bit this time. Uh, gonna have some uh, chill house music playing in the back this whole time, and I figure let's all go on a terrifying adventure. Somewhere magical, somewhere dark, somewhere which is gonna test the limits of our sanity, because that's all we need on a night like tonight. Hope you're all doing well. The corona's open. Let's get started. Mm. Mm. Excuse me while the beer overflows. Damn. <sighs> Away with thee. <laughs> it's our favorite emo lamppost. You know what? I'm gonna just embrace that title now. I am the emo lamppost. But I'm going to be the damn best emo lamppost I can be. So, uh, let's jump straight into it. This evening, and what a fine evening it is. Ruin has come to our family. Going to be playing some, uh, Darkest Dungeon. You remember our venerable house? Let me know how the, uh, our volume is. I might have to give it a bit of a nudge. Gazing proudly from its stored perch uh, I lived all my, my years in that ancient. Oh, come on. Work with me here. There we go. Just needed the cutscene to pass. And. Give it just one second. Oh. 
Oh, it's doing the thing. Uh, give me just one sec. It's decided now of all times to uh, do the thing. Ah, oh, come on, work for me. Listen, okay, I know I'm boomering, but OBS is sometimes a bastard platform. <sighs> Let me toggle the anti-cheat hook, see if that works. all good. The output says it's fine. Oh, come on. You worked on my trial earlier. I swear it just... <laughs> I swear it just does this when I'm on stream to embarrass me. Okay, give me just a second while uh, I sort this. Turn off the anti-heat cheat compatibility hook. Switch it to auto. Now I'll toggle it back on. I swear to god, my computer's just doing a dramatic breakup with me on stream. Alright, you know what? This is just gonna be, uh, this is just gonna be cropped from it later. The magic of editing, okay? The terrifying adventure that we're going to go on has changed, guys. The terrifying adventure that we're going to go on has changed. It's fine. It's good. We are in a place of peace, comfort love and warmth here and we're going to go on a different adventure a different type of adventure it's still terrifying it's still messed up it's still spoopy but uh it appears that uh, darkest dungeon didn't really want to work for me so we're just going to switch up the pace just a tiny bit i don't know if anyone uh knows of the binding of isaac it was a classic little indie game that uh, came out, I don't know, was it like 20, 2013, 2014? Long time ago. Oh, God damn it! someone mentioned corporate YouTuber. Okay. <clears throat> mm. <sighs> There's the vape. Um... <sighs> okay. Uh... That's a thing. That's a thing. Um, <laughs> people say that I'm on my best on these streams when I'm just treading the line between being like a little bit, uh, let's say slightly angry enough to be relatable, yet uh, not quite too far to the point where, you know, I'm donning my trench coat and saying tomorrow is the day of reckoning. So <sighs> that's going to be where I'm aiming for this stream. You that kind of perfect middle. Hey, hi to the new people in chat. Some of you have just rocked in. Uh, you guys have uh, missed me boomering on my computer and it just decided to do a dramatic breakup with me on stream. So yes, uh, I know, I know you guys haven't heard it in a while. Um, 
<laughs> Apparently I'm funny. <laughs> but still. Um, no, no, I got set off on the corporate YouTuber thing. I'm getting sidetracked. But then again, my whole existence is just one big sidetrack. So who knows? This is like, this is just like the thing where you do all of the side quests before doing the main quest on a video game. And welcome. A, hey, 173 people in chat now. That's fucking welcome to all of you guys. I hope you enjoy. Uh, we're just here showing some, some love. The emo lamppost was broken up with by his computer, which, ow, that hurts. Oh, my soul, my my dear soul. Um, sooner, sooner or later, sooner or later, my computer will show me love. Maybe. Married to my mic, but the computer, the computer does a thing. Isaac Welcome to the Binding of Isaac. Mother, lived alone in a small house on a hill. Welcome. Isaac kept to himself. I hope you find drawing it. Drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched. Relatively spooky. On the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. Just finding the exact right volume. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice. <laughs> My accent, the poor emo lamppost. Your Listen. son has become corrupted <laughs> by sin. He needs to be saved. <laughs> I will do my best to save him, my lord, <laughs> Isaac's mother replied. We got back together. The laptop and I have gone back together, but they but my laptop knows that my main is my mic. Again the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. Oh yeah, happy pride, everyone. Happy pride, I forgot to say. Um, happy pride, I hope you guys are all keeping safe, showing some love. This is a pride in lockdown, but... To prove your faith, I will ask one more <laughs> The devil's daughter. Oh no, not the sin. Yes, Lord. Anything. Isaac's mother begged. The laptop is to just a side hoe, brownie devotion. rainbow. Yeah, the, the laptop's kind of a side hoe. Your son, Isaac, My original plan for the evening was to play Darkest Dungeon and name the characters and in the party after people in the chat. But that'll be next live stream. As of right now, though, I'm planning on making the transition to Twitch for my live streams, so I might post a link in the next few days. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. My mic is all choppy. Let me let me see if I can do a thing. There we go. Uh, it might be because of the fact that like my mic is partially not facing me. Let me see if I can just nudge how I'm sitting slightly. There we go. I need to be in optimum range of both the beer and the laptop, you know? Oh, did it carry across my old save? Okay, well, fuck that. We're going to play a new game with all of you guys. I haven't played this game for a good few years. Twitch with Hollow. Yeah, I know. Twitch with Hollow. Okay, let me see if I still remember how to play. Um, attack. Items. Temporary enemy slowdown. Let's go. Mike is going to file for divorce. Hollow, does the mic know about me and the computer? Hell yeah. Oh god, people. Okay, I got this one. Come on, come on, big lad. Beer and not wine. I know. <laughs> Owen Davis, hey Hollow, how are you? I'm doing good. I spent the last eight hours working on my dissertation, so now I think it's about time I wound down. And I figure, what a better way to ha uh, to wind down and hang with all of you guys. And go on a nice terrifying adventure with the little Isaac. 
Hollow finally caving and becoming a professional gamer. Nah, I'm still not a professional gamer. I'm never going to be a professional gamer. Let me just put the fire out with my tears. Is the relationship with my laptop and my mic like a polyamorous relationship? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what my laptop and my mic do when I'm not there. Hey, I remember that old trick from when I used to play. Come on. Hollow is a Twitch girl. I am not a Twitch girl. Okay, I don't I don't have big enough boobs to be a Twitch girl. <laughs> Okay, I need to... Okay. Okay, I got the pattern now. Whistle, shoot. And then when he does the dashes... Okay. Whistle, shoot. Ah, go away. Ah, go away. Do me the honor of dying, please. There you go. Go away. There we go. go. Go away. Oh my god, they hurt me. Go away. So there's a long time period. <laughs> yes, the whole thing is just... A. Got a, like, a little, uh, little safety pin as an ear piercing. Hollow is an e-thought. Uh, but does Hollow have an OnlyFans? No, I don't. Oz told me to get an OnlyFans, and I refused. I categorically refused. Uh, drinking beer and playing this is a dangerous game. I, I can't afford to just play with one hand. There we go. Magic key, magic key. Ah yes, an item room where I have no money. That's what I love. Uh, oh god. I swear, like, dodging these flies is kind of like, um... Like, did you ever play dodgeball when you were a kid? In, like, like PE or gym? And it would be the whole thing where you'd be the only one left on your team. And everyone else, like, they had a full posse and they were just throwing shit at you. Ah! Okay, gotta explore this place a little more before I go for the boss. What year is this game? Uh, I think it was like 2014, 2013, something like that. Uh... God, I miss Bathwater Hollow. Bathwater Hollow was on some edgy shit. I, I moved out of that phase. Um... <laughs> but Bathwater Hollow was a meme. Uh... I've also got like some more video stuff coming up in the next few days. Uh... I didn't post today because I don't know. I don't. I don't like Thursdays. I don't know why. I just. Well, I know why, but I just don't like posting on Thursdays. And it was just a thing, you know. Uh, do I want to go through that door? No, I don't. Uh, six oh six hollow is the new Della Delphine. Oh, make area mod. Is Ari here? Give me a sec. I'll just make area mod. Just need to stop having that thing jump at me. Okay, give me just one sec and I will make Eri a mod. Eri, pop the fuck up. I need to make you a mod. Just uh, comment something in chat and I can make you a mod from there. Ah, there you are. Okay, give me just one sec. Settings. Okay, link. 
While this is happening, tell me, how far, how much longer do you think it will be before Hollow Up and dies in this game? Uh, we'll start placing bets. There we go. Eri is now a mod. So we'll just shut that. Open this. And we're back. Okay. Everyone calls me a lamppost because I'm so tall. I don't... Like, I, I didn't choose to be born this tall. And why does the good room have to have a lock on it? Five more minutes. Oh, yeah, the um, uh, the the whole corporate YouTuber thing. Like it, it came out. Oh, this was something that just like kind of got my blood boiling a little while back. So it turned out that YouTube had started creating uh, essentially like their own YouTubers. So there was a channel called uh, I think it was like Janella Alania or, or something like that, and her entire channel like she's a completely fictitious human being like she's not real she's fake like it, it, the person is fake news like the entire channel came up through uh youtube bots because youtube botted a creator they made them appear out of nowhere gave them a million subs just uh randomly and got them to randomly appear in people's subscriptions and the whole like reason behind it is because of the fact that youtube needs more friendly faces because obviously if you look at like the the kind of faces of the company right now, the faces of YouTube, there's always going to be a few controversies. So YouTube decided to try and like install someone that they could control. It's like, it's like, it's, it's a fucking meme, but money. But the fact of the matter is, you know, replace the person and, uh, or sorry, get rid of the person, replace them with an actor. It's, 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 cla it's a classic thing, you know? And as much as you, I really want this. Uh, as much as, like, they want to be able to control the whole thing, it's... Hey, Turtle Lord! I've come with hugs. Thank you, Turtle Lord. Yeah, as much as, like, the corporation wants to be able to control, essentially, who's big on the platform, because of the fact that being a larger or being able to control the face of your own company is something that YouTube really desires to do and by relinquishing control of their own company by being a creator platform uh, it essentially causes the company to be damaged in the long run and by installing friendly faces and things they can market to kids because the whole thing like as much as, because I find it really interesting how YouTube or her have never actually commented on whether or not she's a real person, <laughs> which is kind of strange. But like, it's it's the whole thing where, like, if you look at the social blade, it's as clear as day. You know, it was a million subs in a week off of two videos. Like that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen organically, not in the slightest. And. By controlling the content that they output, uh, YouTube kind of are able to essentially take their own means of production back. And it, it's very obvious when you look at it because you see they've got like drone shots in these videos. It's like the classic hashtag qu so quirky girl living in a, a, her van with her pet snake and shit. It's, it's a fucking meme. But everyone knows that YouTube has been playing shady tricks for a while. Like how they have a, uh, a dark blacklist. Which is something that they don't talk about. How YouTube actually blacklists content creators that don't make stuff that they like. And put them on a dark blacklist. Which no one, which they refuse to acknowledge as a thing. Until someone at the company slipped up. And then uh, it caused none of their videos to be promoted. Or like put in the recommended. And it's why putting stuff in the uh, actual community tabs of videos is a thing. She's faker than Delaware. Um, but yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's the hashtag classic not like other girls thing. Because 
you know, it, it, it's that classic, haha, she's so quirky bullshit. It, it's a corporate persona, you know? It's the kind of thing that a bunch of middle-aged men in a boardroom came up with and were like, this. This is what the kids like. This is what the kids need. I know, YouTube being shifty. Who knew, Kirby? Who knew? <laughs> like, it... It's a very interesting game. To be honest, if you stop seeing me pop up in your recommended after this, it's because YouTube found me out. Um, <laughs> they decided to remove me. And if I just disappear, they took me out with a long-range sniper. Um, <laughs> give me the leech. Hi, guys. This is my pet leech. We're going to call him Bobby. How old are the students in... Hey, hey, because I'm 22. <laughs> Brownie Rainbow, YouTube being shady. No way. I know. Crazy, right? That's mad, YouTube being shady. It's it's insane. Also, I don't know if you meant this when you said AA, but my mind instantly went to Alcoholics Anonymous, and I'm like, hmm. But then again, I also think that YouTube is partially to blame. <laughs> Only real YouTubers can call themselves entities made by the corporation. Nah, it's, it's the whole shady thing where, like, no one knows where they came from, no one knows, like... Like, if you've got 2 million subs, 2.5 million subs, and no one can say where you went to school, or, like, no childhood friends come out of the woodwork, then, like, y you begin to sense something's a little off. Like with me, my channel just kicked off, and before I knew it, I had people from, like, ages back asking for a shout-out, asking for a fucking, oh, hey, can you tell people about my SoundCloud? I'm like, no, I won't. Goodbye. Good day, sir. Good day. I bid thee good day. <laughs> the fact that my mind instantly said Alcoholics Anonymous says something. <laughs> um. Oh, Arcane Academy! Was it Arcane Academy? <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a university, so they kind of range from like 18, 19 to like 22. You know, that classic university vibe. Uh, goodbye, Blob. Oh, you've decided to hit me on the way out. That's mean. What is that? Lunch! Yay! Damage up. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Meh. YouTube really have that shade, though. They do. They do. You know they shady. I know they shady. Kirby, hey. Uh, hey, Blood, since I'm a long-time sub, could you give my MySpace a shout-out? I will happily give your MySpace a shout-out, Kirby. Uh, oh, leeches are better than snakes. Uh, Nekomada, damn straight. What's like the weirdest pet you guys would want? What's the weirdest pet you guys would want? Let me, let me know, let me know. I'm very interested in what the weirdest pet you guys would want is. Like, taking into account that like, you have to look after them, feed them, do, do all the pet owner stuff. Like, what would be the weirdest thing you guys would be willing to own? Hey, another person just subscribed. Thank you very much for the subscribble. <laughs> YouTube's gonna off you if you keep going. Listen, I'm gonna stay nice and anonymous and quiet from now on and bow my head and say, yes, YouTube, no, YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a best boy. Okay, I'm gonna... The whole idea... You know, it was like when I was reading... Um, I had to do a communism unit on uh, while I was in college, and one of the things that you know you read about is the only way to dismantle the superstructure is from within the superstructure. So you know, just gonna dismantle that superstructure from within the superstructure. You know, make the make the world a better place. Do 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 all that bullshit. Um, guys, I need an answer. Do I buy the strange red and white pill and take it? I have no idea what it does.
I'm gonna buy the pill. Oh, I've got the yellow one as well. Let's find out what the yellow one does. Kills me instantly, that's great! There, that, 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 that happened. That happened. Uh, Turtle Lord, yeah, Arcane Academy. I used to run a reptile rescue. We got weird stuff, fun pets. Okay, you know what? Run again, run again. There was, there was a little, there was a little accident. Don't trust, don't do drugs. I think that was the message of that. Don't do drugs. Uh... We've learned don't do drugs from that. Don't take pills that you don't know what they are. Um, <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Oh, okay. I don't know if anyone knows like the lore behind this game, but it's really weird and kind of messed up. And the whole thing is like... The whole game is just a fantasy in Isaac's head. The, the, the player character's head while he has like an internal breakdown over his like crazy religious mother and I find that very interesting because everything he battles is an aspect of himself which you know I've, I've trapped myself oh lord oh dear oh no uh okay okay that could have gone really bad but it went really good Okay, yes, some of you won with the estimate of 15 minutes, okay? You guys get to say, I told you so. Um... <laughs> hey, at least I'm not Wings of Redemption. <laughs> oh shit, I can't say that on stream. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. Reusable regeneration. I don't remember, like, exactly how to play this game, but I remember what items were good and what items were bad. Self-reflect while killing cute zombies. Yeah, but cute zombies are crying blood, so, like, I don't know. Nightmare bait. A pet gecko. Right. I got some nostalgia for all of y'all if you're willing to sit around and uh, listen at the campfire. I don't know if any of you remember, but there was a game from my childhood, okay? long time ago, really long time ago, when... Oh god, I'm sounding like such a boomer. But there was a game that was released on the Nintendo GameCube, and it was called Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. And I remember it so vividly because of the fact that, like, you played this boy called Billy Hatcher, would you believe? I know. Crazy. Wouldn't have guessed that. Plot twist. And you had to go on a quest for a giant egg, and you had like these different eggs, and you ate, and you like got them to eat fruit, and then they'd like hatch, and they were really cute, and it was just, it was some good shit. It was some good shit. It was some damn fine shit, you know? Time flies when I'm listening to Hollow. Thank you. Time, time is a relative concept. Everything is happening all at once. And you just got to think creatively. Go, go away, evil child worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owen Davis, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. It was like a whole thing where you went on a quest for a giant egg and you got like kidnapped by crows and the crows ate the eggs and they would like turn into like mystics and shit. And it was like, it was crazy because these motherfuckers were like really out here. They were, they were like really out here killing people. And it was like dark in places and Billy like tried to rescue his friends and I never made it past like level four because it was really weirdly hard for a kid's game. And the eggs did, like, different things, and... Torn photo. Do you notice how the photo is, like, a torn photo of his mother and his father who left? Um... But, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like... It was really out there. Oh, you know what? I really want to play that game again. I... I remember I used to find like the, the pirate ship level. There was a, there was a level with, like a pirate ship, and I would find it so scary. As like little like six year old me would find it so scary. Five year old me was like terrified of that pirate ship. You know.
Oh, and the whole game, like, happened because, like, the, the kid found an egg that was being attacked by crows, and he, like, chased them off with a stick. And, like, you know, it, to be honest, if it was me, I would have, like, you know, done the David Attenborough thing, let nature take its part. But, like, he would, like, he chased them off with a stick, and then, like, a little bird hatched out of the egg, and it had, like, a pocket watch or some shit? Here, poor person, have money. You gave me nothing. I hate you. Um... <laughs> Here, poor person. Ah. Uh... Be gone, evildoer. Okay, this is the room we were looking for. Lemon! No, no, I want my reusable heart. Uh, Kirby, this sounds more like an acid trip than a game. Uh, Haley Connor, if you are a emo lamppost, does that mean you're Slender Man? Plot twist. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm just Slendy taking human form. Give me something, you greedy child. You know what? You know what? Screw you. Screw you. Yeah, that's what I do to the homeless. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Billy and the Giant Egg is like 10 quid on Amazon? That's that's out there. That's out there. That's some, that's some crazy shit. That's some fucking vibe. Brownie rainbow here, poor person, have my money. <laughs> you, <laughs> you gave me nothing, I hate you. <laughs> I'm actually just discount Slender Man. I'm discount Slender Man who runs a voice acting channel. Whoa, whoa, like that is what my life is going to be. Mom, are you proud of me yet? <laughs> <laughs> OMG Hollow, that's so bad. Yikes, damn, Hollow hates the poor. <laughs> listen, 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 okay? He's meant to give you something if you give him enough coins, and I wasn't willing to waste my time waiting, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, the belt. Speed up. Of course, of course the belt raises your speed. Um. <laughs> Hollow won't do a face reveal because he's Slender Man. Hell yeah. That and I don't want crazies finding my house, but whatever. <laughs> Either that or I'm actually a massive YouTuber with like 3 billion subs. Um. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to risk it. I can go through that door and find whatever's inside. <gasps> yes! Yes! I That's a really good item. I don't remember what it does, but I remember I used to always watch out for that when I played. Yeah, I think it means that if I die, I can randomly... There's like a, a something percent chance that I'll come back to life. And I'll have a... I'll be like reset as like a dead baby or something? Or a ghost baby? Or so something? Something... Ah, uh, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Hollow, do an eye reveal. <laughs> Alex Wolf, the belt raises speed. Well then. <laughs> Kirby, Hollow doesn't want to reveal his face because he looks like the rat from Flushed Away. Nah, don't hate on me, Kirby. I'm beautiful, bitch. <laughs> uh, Temperin? I refuse to give you my blood for money. Although I do feel like I'd donate blood more if it was paid. You guys have that in the US, don't you? Where you like get paid to donate blood or you like sell your blood? 
Is, is that a thing? I remember reading that somewhere. I also remember reading that a kidney was worth between 250,000 and 300,000, but whatever. Um, a bottle of pills. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to take the pill and see what happens. Hey, I got two extra hearts. Let's go. <laughs> Hollowed. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, Isaac is just going through these nightmares while the audience watches his struggle. Then again, I, that's just called reality TV, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, smart thing. Go to the next room, complete it, get the extra heart, then use the battery to recharge all my shit. Uh... Leeches, go away! I don't like you! Or, are they, like, maggots? Or No, they're not. They're, they're maggots, because leeches are black, right? Oh, so they only buy plasma in the U.S. Thank uh, all right. That that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Maya Johnson, hear you voice acting goofball. Yes, I am. Uh, stop hitting me. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. So I got that. Uh, was it this to view the whole map? Yeah, it was. Hey, another person uh, subscribed. Mm. Okay, what's this thing? Peep. Peep. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so it does a little jump. Limited orange, uh, limited range. Uh, behind hit. Whoop. Come on, come on, I need that. Oh, there we go. Am I gonna hide behind this rock for the entirety of the fight? Yes, I am, because I'm a grown-up. Actually, I can run through that stuff, right? Yeah, I can. Okay, mobility. Mobility's the trick here. One of your eyes popped out. That's that's really great. That's that's some top tier shit. That's some What's up low gang? Um <laughs> Hey, catch you in a bit, Brownie. Okay, we're gonna use that. Okay, we, we can just stay here. We'll just sit back here. We'll just chill. We'll just relax. Have some fun. Have a good time, you know how it is? Party every day and all night. Okay, it doesn't have eyes now. I for I forgot the the nature of this beast. Okay, this way, this way, this way, this way. What? What? Uh, this thing just jumps and then pees all over you. Yeah. Please, please, just please die. Do me do me the honor of passing away in a quiet fashion. Em embrace the uh, undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. Uh, makes mockeries of us all. Uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. I'm going to get that. <sighs> okay. Hey, dog food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a billy. Hollow needs a vibe check. Bruh. I always pass the vibe check. Liu is the vibe moderator, and uh, he told me I passed the vibe check today. It helps when you have a dear close friend as the vibe checker. Fuck, I love that boy. Um, there we go. Everyone in the chat revealing their eye fetish. Eyes are overrated. Why did that... Oh, Coraline, yeah. Like with the button eyes and, and the... Yeah. But to be fair, it's an absolute cinematic masterpiece. You know, it was like, um... You know, what was it? Like, Madonna turns around and is like, Oh, Cinema Paradiso changed my life. It's like, no, Coraline changed, changed people's lives, okay? 
Cinema Paradiso is just an Italian film about a boy that works at a cinema. Um, but then again, I watched it when I was like, well, a few years back. It was an interesting one. Was it Madonna that said that or was it like Kylie Minogue? I don't know. When was the last time they were relevant? Um... <laughs> Uh, a few days ago, I had to escape the Vibe Police. Damn. Vibe Police really out here. Vibe Police are kind of a fat mood. Uh, is the character shooting the creatures with his tears? Because same. Yeah. Isaac shoots the creatures with his tears. Which, to be honest, after working for eight hours on a dissertation today... Isaac, I really feel you, brother. <laughs> oh, Turtle Lord. Me, I need my vibes checked, bro. Priest, this is a confessional. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I now want all of my vibe checks to be in confessionals. To be honest, I feel like that kind of fits the vibe check. Please go away. Let me see if that'll kill you. No, it just it just squished your head. That's great. That's that's great. That's great. It just looked like someone dropped you now. Um Why why is this killing me? There we go. Rest in pieces, bitch. I know you. I like you. Weird, but once again, not a sin. Eri! Hollow escapes the vibe police ASMR. <laughs> hey, thanks, Eri. Okay, come on. Stop coughing up flies at me. Like... My next couple audios, uh, I've got one where I'm Hades coming out tomorrow, which is hot. Um, why do you throw explosives, you evil creatures? Uh, I've got one where I play a nice little knight and kicks off a new thing uh, on Sunday. And I'm debating making it back-to-back -back uploads from, uh, like... I'm debating uploading on Monday as well because I'm kind of juggling my uh, university work. I'm nearly at the end. My foot is in the door. I can escape soon. And then you get a full-time hollow, which, you know, if you thought I was bad beforehand, imagine me full-time. <laughs> to be fair, though, I think a vibe check would actually be hilarious. Just like a vibe check audio where the police arrest you for, like, or, like, put you in for a vibe inspection. <gasps> vibe inspection audio. That's that's going on the list. That's going on the list. Can you even be like, psychic gives you a vibe inspection? That's, that's, that's some shit I could work with. I miss Jackal. Jackal will be back at some point. Sometime. For now, though, you know, he's just living it up. Living his best life. Doing what Jackal does best, which is being a mysterious gentleman. I mean, hell, I can't give you guys everything about Jackal. Mystery's half his charm. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, I hate these things so bad. I hate these things so bad. Um, Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Uh, go away! People are actually out here debating if I'm Slender Man. <laughs> Zero deaths. 
Um, okay, let's just let's, let's knock on this door. Let's knock on this door. See what's inside. Ghost heart. That might save me. Oh shit! Hollow. If Jackal dies in our arms, like the Stroke Delph, uh, I will. <laughs> I will cry for the first time. But yeah. Um, is there like a hidden door there? I feel like there's a hidden door there. Nope. Uh, I don't plan on killing Jackal right now, but the Blood Mage does. Falveeched is a interesting boy. Oh my god, stop hitting me, please. Oh my lord, stop it. Stop it. Okay, come on, come on, collar. The collar didn't kick in. That's great, that's great. We're going in again. You know how it is, guys. We got this. Okay, take the heart. I can be back in there whenever I want. Just need to get a key for the chest, which will open the door, which will... I don't know. I don't just... I don't know. I don't know. For my final audio, everyone dies. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to do one final audio where every character on the channel just dies and then disappear from YouTube forever. That's like my the plan for my grand exit. Alivant. Yes, alivant is a thing now. Jackal can't die. Oh, like... Nah, on a, on a serious note though, Jackal is a character that's very close to my heart. He's one of the original boys, you know. Um, I, I usually don't trifle with the original boys. Uh, the ones... Obviously, I'm stepping away from Jackal for a while because of the fact that I want to flex my creative muscles in a different sort of way, which is kind of a departure from a lot of the audios that I've done in the past. But I'm trying to be a little bit more new, a little bit experimental with the things I do. And obviously, you know, we had our adventures with Edgar the Vampire. Um, I'm probably not going to make a third part on that because of the fact that as much as it is a passion project, uh... I'm also working on like a full-blown passion project in the background as well, which is something that you know uh, I want to I want to keep secret for now. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of like sort my channel into the OGs and then like the the post blow up guys. Oh, Isaac is a hearty boy now. Uh. But yeah, that's sort of where I'm I'm thinking of taking things. Uh, a lot more out there, a lot more uh, developmental. I really want to see things in a more developmental light. It doesn't mean that the quality is going to dip or anything like that, because let's be honest, like the, the shit here is quality. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know what the fuck I make. And um, no, actually, no, no, I'm right. Like, I, I do good shit. Um... In case you couldn't tell, that was me having the little uh, internal dialogue conversation of, uh, you know, that classic imposter syndrome thing. Uh, go away, spiders. Uh, Hollow be voicing an entire Otome game. Bruh, I'd be down for that. I think it was, like, Lee and I a while back were like, hey, let's make an Otome game. Like, one night at, at like, 3 a.m. We just got really hyped and we're like, we're going to make an Otome game. That's what we're going to do. We're going to voice everyone. We're going to get our mate that knows programming. We're going to we're gonna make it all. And that was like a whole thing. It's like those crazy plans you always come up with with your friends at 3 a.m. Because like my, my chat, like just me in general actually, just has a magic time for ideas and it's called 2 a.m. And... Tooth shot. I get to spit teeth at my enemies. Shiro breaks up with you. Nah, nah. The next Shiro thing is a phone call that's going on my Patreon. Um, I normally don't post, like, Patreon exclusive content, but I want my channel to be more about the original sort of uh, 
way I envisioned and just to develop a little bit more creatively. And Shiro is very much kind of, um, he's not a relic of the channel, but he's like, he's like fine China, you know? We take him out on, like, we take him out when the wealthy neighbors are coming over. Or we take him out when our son's girlfriend comes by because her family's from money. You know, that that's, that's kind of the thing. Uh, is Briar going to kill us? Dunno, is he? Depends how fast you run. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Bob's brain. Uh, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Uh, I'd play an Otome game with Hollow in it. Honestly, just, just breaking into the voice acting industry is sort of where I'm at right now, and I'm in a nice position to kind of cha-cha real smooth into that. Come on, you blob. Commit a livent. There you go. Enjoy the poison. How does it feel? I finally became the toxic person I was born to be. <laughs> Ink Bendy, I love your videos. They're amazing. Thank you, Ink Bendy. You're, you're, you're sweet. You're the sweetest. Ink Bendy's sweet. <gasps> oh, Brimstone. I know that. I remember it very clearly. It's all mine. I love it. I am finally the devil. I have taken my true form. Behold my majesty. What kind of art style would I like in a potential Otome game? Um, I'd want to maybe shuffle away from the classic sort of anime boyish thing and go for almost not... almost a strange crossbreed between the, the cartoon style and like sort of anime, you know? Uh... Just a very light style, very, very, like, warm, hearty, like, the, the, the kind of thing that you could get caught up with. Not that, like, bullshit, first love, whatever, uh, oh, what's the word? Um, you know that awful game that everyone gets advertised on their Facebook where it's like, make choices, fall in love, da 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 and it's like, bruh, listen, I know that if you click on, if I click on that, it's going to fill my phone with ads and goddamn, I don't know, like, like, like Iranian super hackers, but I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't fuck with that. Um, um, real question is you finna voice the soft, nerdy, sweet dude or the dark, mysterious Sundere? I'll just voice everyone. I'll just be everyone. I did it with the delinquent verse. I can do it again. Hollow, do you have your song list on Spotify or anywhere? I love the songs you used in your last streams. Uh, they should be in the description of those streams. Uh, just punch them in and on the YouTubes and they should come up. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, ¿por qué no lo dos? <laughs> okay, uh... Hollow's got that range, heck yeah. Dude, episode has the weirdest ads. Yeah, those like... Does anyone else get those really weird ads on like... Facebook where it's like, oh, escape the cage, escape the thing, or it's like, oh, th this is the thing, do you do the thing, like, uh, and it's the thing where you, like, pull the, the little, what happened with the romantic necromancer? Don't know, you might find out soon. Might be closer than you think. Uh, the game will be called Hollow Ruining His Voice for a 7 to 8 hour game. Nah, I don't ruin my voice. I take damn good care of my voice. I know that shit makes me my rent. I'm... I love that thing. Um...
Haley Connor, can I make more delinquent videos? Um, I'm off the delinquent videos right now. I feel like they're kind of the channel's past. I want to focus on the future. And I think I don't want to pigeonhole myself into doing like a single set of characters. Because, you know, I, I'm more than just Shiro, you know? And it, it's just the fact where I just want to have a bit more range and a bit more, you know, everything. OMG, my first holo stream. Hello, everyone. Hello, Shannon J. Uh, Strangeland, Stranger People, and the Arcane Academy series both have an Otome game-like feel, and I like that. Uh, yeah, that's sort of, uh... It's, it's all about kind of just telling a story and letting the listener associate with who they want to... Or not associate, associate's the wrong word. Identify with... Uh, who they want to identify with. Because, you know, you can... Uh, you know, you can be a, an August guy, you can be a Fendel guy, you could like the teacher, you could, you know. And I think one thing that I'm sort of, uh, that I'm sort of thankful for kind of making my brand uh, was just that I don't inherently sexualize all of my characters, or really any of them. Because, uh, I don't know, it just, it, it just leads down to a very kind of like downward slope and it was the slope I talked about where it's the uh, elevation last time and kind of the n not extremism but uh, yeah kind of like Mystic Mes uh, Messenger kind of a little bit like Mystic Messenger uh, when it comes to like the art style uh, Love and Locks uh, there's a game called the Arcana yeah I've played the Arcana what the fuck is with their fucking coins? I'm just gonna throw that out there, right? I mean, my god, they should play the fucking Merchant of- They should play Shylock in the Merchant of Venice the way they want their pound of flesh with those coins. Like, straight up, let me- let me have- what, what was his name? Astra? Let me have Astra and just leave- leave me alone, alright? Just let me have Astra and let me- let me be free. Like, all of that bullshit to like, oh, you want to hold his hands? Have You need two million coins for that. And I'm like, well, hello. But yeah, they, they, they straight up take the piss with that kind of monetization. Like, I, I appreciate a good bit of, like, business and industry and all of that and words. But, like, there's a difference between... Uh, optimizing the marketing of your product and optimizing the earning potential to just straight up, hey, I want to make money soullessly. Like, do do what you do for some love. Astra is my non-binary king. Everyone's just like, Astra. Uh, Hollow, can you speak in one of your characters? Um, shit, who do I want to come to the forefront right now? Uh... Oh god, here we go. Mm. <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh. Hey, cartoons. One of the things that drew me to this channel was that you didn't sexualize your characters. Thank you. That's that's like that's something I really appreciate hearing because like a lot of the time is uh that like how, how do I phrase it? Um I kind of receive a lot of like demand for NSFW content and it's something that I will never do. Um simply because I've said this in streams before as soon as you do it, it bars you from getting any real voice acting work. And I've, I've, I've used this example, and I'll use it again, and I'll keep using it till the day I perish. What What's gonna happen if you voice, I don't know, Robin or some shit on the Teen Titans, and some mother turns around, some Karen, and she's like, oh, fucking Robin used to like uh, slap his thigh and scream, ah! into the mic and shit. I, like, they, they, no, no, okay, that's 
like, I've got nothing against the people who do it. It's totally fine, you know? But it's just the fact where, where my career wants me to go. Uh, that's just not really, you know, I'm just doing what's best for me. But I get what you mean back on topic of the whole not sexualizing the characters. Because I get a lot of the do NSFW stuff and I've said no so many times. It's like, bruh, if you keep asking me, I'm going to start feeling objectified. Oh, this place is spoopy. Can I just say, look at the, like, remember what Isaac looked like when we started this, and look at him now. What has this boy become? This boy is a menace. Floaty brains eat laser beam. D did I do that? No? Okay. I was I was reading the chat and I just heard a sound and I was like, ah. Uh Uh, Kaya Heineken. Uh, Heineken. I feel like doing NSFW slowly drains your soul. Uh, I, I won't say soul, but I, I do think that, like, some creators that, like, do it, you see a noticeable, like, decline in their creativity. Because I feel like it, it, it sucks away a certain, it sucks away a certain part of you. And... Again, it's just that sort of thing where if I, I've actually said this before, um, it's it's the whole thing where it's it's the exact same reason I stay away from Yandere if I can stop the spaghettiing. Um, people are always going to want to do, always want more and more extreme things. They're always going to want more and more and more. And it starts off as a small thing and then it grows larger and larger and larger and larger. And before you know it, uh, you're just trapped in this spiral and there's no getting out of it. And it's a thing with Yandere where people start off with um, uh, with like just doing small little things and maybe they don't quite be tasteful in the way they do it. And before you know it, it's spiraled into doing some fucking crazy shit. And I think it was Fearless Lin who I was talking to. This was like uh, ages back, maybe like four or five months. But uh, we were saying how like uh, it's almost always after we do Yandere, we get some crazy person in the DMs going saying something like, hurt me more. And it's just, you know, it, it does kind of drain your soul just a touch. Uh, what time is it for me? It is uh, eleven thirty-seven p.m. So I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I'll do that in the a.m. Whatever. I eat at weird hours. I exist at weird hours. To be honest, quarantine's got me all back. You know how it is. Y'all remember Adventure Time? Shout out, fucking Mew Toro, uh, Turu, Turu. Uh, I hope I said that right. I'm God. God, I'm so sorry. Uh, Adventure Time was fucking lit. I remember the. I remember fucking, uh, oh, what was his name? The dude without the eyes. Uh, I remember, oh, Adventure Time was just so fucking lit. I loved Adventure Time. You know, it would, it would be the whole thing where, and even as a grown up, I like appreciated Adventure Time in a different way, you know, get yourself to an altered state of being and watch Dement uh, Adventure Time. But you know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> eat your dinner, Hollow. I'll eat when I'm ready to eat, damn it. Uh, yeah, take that greed. I vanquish thee. What are you? Luck up. Hello. Oh, yeah, I can tell what pills are now. That's great. 
Okay, guys, we're going to take all the pills. Uh, Anthony Mouse. Uh, Andy, no, Anony Mouse, sorry. Uh, your characters are so good and their quality is so high. They are original. Their acts are unexpected. Your scripts are amazing. You definitely don't need to do NSFW to get a tangent. <laughs> thank you so much. Fucking sweetie. Thank, thank you. I'm going to call you Mousy. Yes, you're a sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Marceline is cute. Bruh, Marceline the Vampire Queen. Like, there, there are certain cartoons from our, like, childhood, which I, I directly blame for my love of emo chicks. Um, Marceline the Vampire Queen. <laughs> yes, take all the pills, hollow out of context. Oh. Yeah, yeah, gonna take all the pills. Bell. Oh, Lady Rainicorn. <gasps> a cash true bisexual culture is being attracted to both Marceline and Marshall. Oh, he a cash knows. A cash knows. A cash knows. Do y'all remember Amazing World of Gumball? I never got to watch Gumball. My family never had, like, cable when I was a kid. So, like, I only got reruns on... I only got, like, really old Adventure Time episodes over the internet. <laughs> like, I mean really old ones. Like, we still had, like, Season 1 in... <sighs> I don't even remember. It was it was a time though. It was a time and a place. Uh Kyson VA. Hey Holo, I love you, I'm your biggest fan. I love you too. I swear, everyone that checks out my streams has just got so many like there's a sweeties. Such sweeties. Oh my gosh, no. I touched the machine and died. I touched the machine and died. Thank you, guys in VA. Alright. What we're going to do is we are now going to just exit out of that and we're going to do the wind down part of the stream because I have a wind down part of the stream now, which is going to be uh, playing that card game which gets me angry at randoms on the internet because I'm a totally, totally functioning adult. And that's where we're heading with this. We're going into an, uh, an amazing fantasy land of a card game that Hollow can win at. Give it a sec, it's updating because Riot Games can't actually balance a card game. But they're trying. You know, sometimes it's just important to try. Uh, Hiking again. You're the only ASMR person I really listen to. All the dialogue you have is normal, and you. Uh, I'm, I'm not cringe. I love how I'm just not cringe. Uh, your videos also give me a lot of inspiration for D and D. Yeah, I. Uh, with me, I actually I love D and D. I love D and D with a burning passion. I'm actually DMing right now for Salem Liu. Uh, Eri and ours and they're like a little a little uh, and also uh a personal friend of mine and they are like a little a little kick-ass party and i'm the dm and i'm dming my dm stuff i'm all up in that dm now let's play ranked matches against randoms online and uh, get unnecessarily angry. <laughs> because that's a thing. That's a thing. MC Fox Dove, wait, still live? Yes, I am live, in fact. Live and direct. 
Oh god, live and direct. I remember when I saw AJ Tracy in concert. 369! 369! Three six nine, bro. He's out of prison. Calm your shit. <laughs> okay, guys. You know we have to beat this person now. It's pride. Time to throw rainbows at them. Yay! 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 There we go. Hey, three six nine threw rainbows back. Will we get an updated map of Saris? I'm... I really want to make, like, a full-on updated map of Saris. I, I love Saris. I just need to, like, sketch everything out and send it away to someone to actually get a proper, full-blown thing... ...actually, like, professionally made. Hey, you pronounced my name right. No one ever does that. I mean, thank you. I, I, I try. I really do. Why am I not surprised you're part of the D&D &D world? Hell yeah. I'm part of the D&D &D world. I love homebrew content. Homebrew is my jam. And uh, that's, that's where I'm at with it. Hollow's best gamer girl. Bro, if I had boobs, I'd have so many more subscribers. <laughs> uh, let's play you. Actually, no, let's not play you. Let's just, let's, let's skip the round. See if you do anything. Free, Mr. Free 6 9. <laughs> Free fucking 6 9. He is already free, bitch. Six nine free six. <laughs> Hollow is a wholesome emo lamp post. I will embrace that title with pride. <laughs> free six nine. I don't. I didn't realize people actually still still did that. I thought that was like a meme that died with 2019. But no. Still here. Still out there. Still a thing. Voice actor bathwater. <laughs> oh, that was a meme back when the whole channel thing first started. Hey, so I'll probably play about maybe three rounds of this and then I'll head out for the night. I just wanted to go on a little adventure. I would have done longer if Darkest Dungeon uh, ended up coming through. But uh, it ended up not coming through. So uh, I will work on that, polish it, get it to run without... Uh, I'll get it to run with the OBS and I'll probably just do a stream another time. And, you know, I might throw up a link to my Twitch at some point. See if I can get y'all who are a part of the stream gang to follow me there. Round and round and round it goes. Oh god, with this hand I'm gonna have to live with losing to 369, 369 person. I'm... Oh, Mary, drat phone dying. That's my exit cue. Take care, Hollow. Be safe. I, I'll be safe. Love ya. Hollow becomes next gamer girl. Find out on drama. Oh, I don't think I could be the next gamer girl because of the fact that, like, I, I couldn't deal with it. And also, bruh, t total drama. Just drama. Total drama island. Can you... Eri, defeat them, boy. I will. I'm trying, Eri. Thank you. Thank you, Eri. I love you. Oh... <laughs> uh... Eri, I don't know who I love more. You or Brew. Like, your character in D&D. &D. 
Finally, I drew a card. Fine. I've lost. I've lost. It's game over. I didn't have a card. I'm sorry. I just had a bad hand. It's fine. We're going to come back even stronger. Okay? Because that's what you do in life. When things don't go well in life, when, when you get knocked on your ass, you get up and you fight. Because... Can't can't let life be getting to you. That's knowledge from Hollow today. I do have a confession to make. I've never seen Total Drama Island. Okay, guys, I need y'all to cheer me on with this one. We're gonna do it. Okay, need you all to cheer me on. I love you all. Let's get it. Let's get them. Love you, boys. Come on. Kirby, ha, Hollow sucks at games. Kirby, I might suck at games, but I still kick your ass every time in Smash Bros, so what does that make you? <laughs> uh, Hollow, are you, uh, I'm gonna sleep now. It's 11.50 at night. Yeah, go to bed. Have some good dreams. Have some good dreams. Have some dreams about Bendy and the Ink Machine, except not, like, terrible. Um, not horrifying. Bendy was good, though. Okay, we got a strong start here, lads. Let, oh, I didn't throw I didn't throw up a pride poro up. You gotta throw up the gang sign. The pride poro is like a gang sign at this point. <laughs> throw up the pride poro gang sign. Okay, I'll throw you out. I'll put that at one. Okay, how do you pronounce it? Father or further? I need I need people to give me this answer. I feel like it's one of the greatest unresolved questions of the modern age. Father or further? Making the dead deader. Making the dead deader. Ever since 2009. <laughs> mm. You can't kill my ally if I kill them first. <laughs> Let's go, Hollow. Thank you, Milk Dud. Love you, Milk Dud. Let's go. Gang, gang. Fortnite was a thing. Okay, why the fuck is Travis Scott in Fortnite? Like, I don't even play Fortnite, and I know Travis Scott is in Fortnite. Like, bruh, go, go get on your Astro World shit. I don't know. Like, do, do whatever Travis Scott does. <laughs> Be you. Live long. Prosper, find love. I don't know, but why are you in Fortnite, bro? I don't know why Travis Scott is in fucking Fortnite. They didn't throw the Pride gang sign back. You've got to beat them now. Yeah, that's a fact. They didn't throw back the Pride gang sign, so... Their life is forfeit. You know how it is. I'm just saying, they're repping the wrong set in this hood if they ain't throwing back the Pride gang sign. All right, you know, you know what the fuck's going on. Uh, I'll go with a Lucian Sentinel of Light. There's a chill in the air. Come on. We out here throwing up our pride gang signs. Where you at? Uh, and then I'll do Fiora. We love Fiora. <laughs> hey, Capri W, we rooting for you, Hollow. Let's go. Hey, I knew you'd kill him. Okay, they're using some nasty spells on that. Let's go with a pass. Can't get any offensive off yet. <laughs> Barney Scott in Fortnite. That's what we want. We want Barney Scott in Fortnite. Give the people what they want. Um, <laughs> give the people what they want. Barney Scott in Fortnite. <laughs> you can do it, Ollie. Come on. Come on.
What? Oh, deny. What a bitch spell. They. Oh, this is a whole Vi deck, isn't it? I can tell now from those spells. You play in an entire deck based around Vi. Okay, I can work with that though. I can work with that. Next turn is my turn. I can play a two. It's Barry, you heathen. Well, I'm sorry you typed it wrong, Kirby. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry you typed it wrong, Kirby. Uh, let's put... Actually, no, let's, let's do... This. Plus this. Plus you. Means... Oh, I'm playing a spell deck against a Vi deck, so all I can do is force an overdraw. Which is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. This is just a bad matchup. This is a really bad matchup for me. I will win. I usually am really good. I had like a six win streak the other day with you guys. So... It's just a little unfortunate. That's just where we're at. That's that's a loss, I think. I'm. It's either a loss or I have one... Okay, that'll slow them down a bit. That can slow them down a bit. Unless they have another Vi card, which they probably do. In fact, I'm going to say they definitely have another Vi card. Uh, Kirby, I didn't type it wrong, you blind bitch. Kirby is persecuting me for being dyslexic. Kirby, why are you persecuting me for my own dyslexia? Kirby, why are you harassing me for my disability? God, I hate you. I hate you so much, Vi. Vi is so evil. I hate Vi. Vi as a card is horrible. Uh, Miss Rafe. Why is Strongarm in my deck? Why is that a card? Why do I have Strongarm in my deck? Oh, because uh, another card created it. Okay, that's fine. You know, it might just be a... Uh, Barney Scott is my favourite purple dinosaur, bruh. Uncooked Egg, Hollow, hi! Hey, Uncooked Egg, I love ya. Okay, time to, time to step this up, then. <laughs> Lady Nazi, I'm usually really good. I swear it's just when I stream with you guys, I suddenly suck. I think it's because I have to like split my attention with the chat and the game. But like, I don't know. It's a skill. Streaming is a skill. There's nothing people can say to convince me otherwise. Oh, he's upgraded Heimerdinger. Okay, I've, uh, this is a loss, but we're going down fighting. Okay, guys. Also, can you guys remember that Kirby harassed me for my disability? So, uh... <laughs> Kirby, mate, co what parking lot, 3am, fight me. I will not fight a child, Kirby. <laughs> Uncooked egg, oh, I'm dyslexic too. Hell yeah, we're the most creative homies. Un uh, dyslexia gang. Then again, like, every YouTuber is, like, dyslexic or, like something. Every YouTuber is like dyslexic or has ADHD or, or some shit. I ended up getting both. <laughs> Mackie's car park is where it's at. Bruh. I remember back in my hometown, the Mackie's car park got taken over by a load of people in like, I think it was like oh, like, like mobile homes and like camper vans and they would like steal shit from the Mackie's and like full on raid the place. It was gnarly. And they would, like, get into fights with people. It, it was great. <laughs> Travis Scott and... Okay, I'm reading this really emotionally. <clears throat> Travis Scott and Barney Scott look at each other longingly. barney son, Travis whispered. Travis Kun, Barney blushed. Travis Scott plays sicko mode. And slow dances with Barney. The end. Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking art. Hey, Twilight Woods. Thank you for the heart. 
Hey, thank you. Love you, Twilight Woods. And they cloned one of my cards. Okay, little Fantasia. Don't let me find out where the fuck you sleep. <laughs> Okay, this is an L. I know it's an L. That's an L. I can take the L honorably. They didn't throw the Pride Pyro gang sign back though. I'm gonna throw Pride Pyro at them as a goodbye. I'm just saying, people who could, who put GG bro even when they don't win are fucking kings. People people who do that are just straight fucking kings. Like... Mm. And this is where Hollow has whatever rights he had left taken away. You know what? I think it's the deck. I think I need to change up my deck. I've... Let's play the one Oz hates. <sighs> cool kid, uh, cool kitties. Well done. That was a masterpiece. Hell yeah. Got to be on another level. I'm wondering if this is the time when China's awake. Is this the time when China awakes? Is like awake because we know not to play or like Korea. We know that if South Korea's on, just don't play online video games because they fucking shred. <laughs> that feeling when you see someone with like Korean characters on your team in a game and you know everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> Omen Hawk, let's kill. <laughs> Bro, I know you've been waiting on the on the Hollow versus Kirby rap battle for the server, but Kirby's been ducking that shit for months. <laughs> Kirby's been hiding. Okay, you want a spider, that's cool. Uh, hey, Capri W. Oh, it's the cute dog. I love the cute dog so much. I love him. Is that a fox or a dog? I don't know, but it's cute enough that I love it. Um, <laughs> Cool kitty, Senpai noticed me. Yay! China awakens. Hell yeah. You guys know what the fuck it is, though. If you guys, like play online games, you know that when China awakens, real shit be going down. Do there we go. <laughs> I can. You see a Korean gamer tag, why do I hear boss music? <laughs> It's so true. It's like you see a Korean game attack and you hear boss music instantly. It's like, where did that come from? You know? Okay, they're playing Spider Swarm. The Devil's Tortoise it's called a Shiba Inu. Brilliant. I, I thought it might be a Shiba Inu, but I wasn't like 100% sure because of the fact that like it's so damned cute. Frostbite. I can take six damage. I can take six damage. And next turn I'll get a five, which will give me a thing with Scout, which will... Okay, okay. I can work with these numbers. I can work with these numbers. Uh... <laughs> the reason Korean gamers are hardcore is because they get non-stop gaming ads on YouTube. I don't even know. They're, they're just on another level. I don't know what shit Korean gamers are on, but they're great. Cherry PL, have you ever played Magic the Gathering? Uh, yes, I have played Magic the, uh, the Gathering. I was a... I think I was like a black 
I was a black-white player. I used to play black-white. Um, that was probably, like, one of my faves. Because black-white was just such a great little deck. I used to also play, like, black-blue mill. Which is just a very, like... It's a very good thing. It's very hardcore. Um, I don't like that. Past. Okay. Uh, full attack. Uh, Barney Scott looks around. Did Travis Kun. Travis Scott started. B Barney San. Barney walks closer. Were you dancing? Travis sighed. I wanted to impress you. <laughs> Finn. Yo, Eri can judge the rap battle. <sighs> okay, you're playing that. I see how this shit is. You're playing an overwhelm. I'll just have to overwhelm your overwhelm. Okay. Your chop liver. Um... Okay, that's fine. We'll play you with you, and we'll try and be sneaky about this. Come closer. I don't fight. Elise, the Spider Queen. Oh, it's because I just ranked up to gold, I think. That's why this shit's suddenly hard. Three, four, three on the four, three, four. Okay. Come, stay a while. Oh, God damn it. A tribute to the spider god. I, you know what? I refuse to stop fucking playing until I go on a winning streak. That's that's my answer. Uh, hey, Hollow, I'm curious. What's your favorite movie? Uh, probably Drive. Uh, with... Oh, God, what's his name? Uh, I don't know why my brain is saying Ryan Reynolds, but, like, it... Uh, drive with, uh... Ryan Gosling. There we go. Uh, probably Drive with Ryan Gosling. That's probably my favourite movie. It's because of the fact that there's so little dialogue in the film. Like, there's only a handful of lines, but the facial expressions just say so much. And it's... The, the entire story is just a very beautiful one about moving on and redemption and trying to be a different person than who you were. Okay, you know what? It's cuz I'm it's cuz I'm playing fucking gold rank, isn't it? Fuck that. I'm switching back to the old deck. Switching to normal. Chloe you in. Uh new gym. I I'm I'll only play a couple of rounds salty hollow I'm playing till I get a winning streak. Yes, okay. Hollow has a has like an overabundance of salt. Arrow to the knee. We're going up against Arrow to the knee. Ryan Reynolds, best actor. Ryan Reynolds is just a blessing. We don't deserve Ryan Reynolds. Like, the thing is as well, he gets painted as, like, the guy from The Notebook. The guy from fucking, uh... You know, he's just painted as, like, the, the, the heartthrob guy. But he does so much more, and he's got so much emotional range. He's just... He's a brilliant actor who just, I feel like, is very typecast. Attack! Uh, I'm switching to the small pond. Uh, sure, that's why. Ha, everyone look. Hollow's a bad gamer. What a loser. Wow, Kirby. Wow. Wow, you get your kicks being mean.
A. Uh, don't need to do single. We could do single combat and take out him. Yeah, we can do that. That's a big brain move. Uh, <laughs> Pikachu. Bro, Pikachu is great. Like, as, like that Pikachu specifically. You know, the, the Ryan Reynolds Pikachu. I was, I just realized I was saying Ryan Reynolds and not Ryan Gosling. Um, I meant, like, take everything I say and put it towards Ryan Gosling. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just do one damage. Everybody full attack. Ah, shit, my vape's out of juice. Away. And to the beer we go. Best not ruffle our feathers. Mm -hmm. by snow and for a plus two this round. Oh, you don't even know what I got. Done. Done. Velerix, you never bully me. Hollow can't tell the difference between Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds. I know the difference. Ryan Gosling has perfectly symmetrical cheekbones. <laughs> Coffee addict Pikachu equals best Pikachu. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. We love our coffee addict, Pikachu. Okay, come on, pass. Fight or die. Okay. That's a thing. Do you want to attack with that, though? Would they attack? Now they'd attack. Now they'd attack. Leave nothing standing. Would they attack with both, though? I feel like... With that be a decent sacrifice? No, it wouldn't, because I could just take three damage. That'll be two damage anyway, trying to do maths in my head while I'm doing this. Um... Uh, we'll play Soul Gorger, because my god, can you get more? Can, can, can we get more emo than Soul Gorger? Um... <laughs> Oh, Twisted Fate, Twisted Fate. I fucking hate Twisted Fate. Um... Let's, let's attack, let's attack. All we need is to attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. You don't get an overwhelm, you do damage, I get health. That's... We, 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 all, we all walk away happy. And then next turn I'm going to go... Plus three, plus three. Ooh, woo. Shouldn't have done that, bitch. Okay. There we go. I don't like losing. <laughs> okay, that should be everything you can do on your turn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think y'all know where this is going. We're turning this thing into an absolute monster. That's what we're going to do. We're going to turn Soul Gorger into an absolute beast. C 
Kirby, I'm a sentient vacuum. God damn. Kill all units. Why the fuck would you do that? Did did Solgore just scare you that much? Did, did, like, why would you do that? Did, to deal... I don't know what you're on, but I want some. <laughs> Listen, guys, I made it to gold rank, okay? Don't judge me. I climbed a I climbed the throne of corpses to get to gold rank. You'll go no farther. I fail. Mm. Actually, I got a plan. Okay, come on. Bow to no one. Okay, I'm fine with you frostbiting for a round. I'm gonna do shit to me. Don't worry about me. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna make my center tougher. It's five six. End the turn. Read the Discord server rules. Guys, read the server rules or Kirby will absorb you. That is not a threat. It is a promise. Let's go, lads. <laughs> That's fine. Well, that's rude. That is extremely rude. Excuse you. Eri, it's me. I'm a god. I'll vibe check you all. Damn, Eri. Out here with, uh, with the humble vibes. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, we can work with these numbers again. We can work with these numbers. Uh, should I add a Teletubby to the love triangle? Hell yeah. Let's go, lads, is super British. Hell yeah, let's go, lads, is like the most British thing. There is little that is more British than let's go, lads. Okay, come on, come on, overplay your hand. I want you to overplay your hand, overplay your hand. Just attack with everything, do it, do it, do it, fucking do it. Okay. And that's... I would hope he wouldn't have played that Cifria, but... That's a straight 10. I don't like that. I can't believe I just did a terrible Photoshop of Barney with Travis Scott. Neither can I. Um... You've got a card. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> Red-headed introvert. Ah, oh, they've got me. Ah, oh, they've got me this time, lads. They've got me this time. Kelmenton, I, as an Irish person, I will fight you for the term, lads. Uh, you know what, as an Irish person, I kind of condone myself using it. Fendel, uh, not Fendel, uh, Argus condones me using the term lads. 
it's simple, you know. I can land a pretty decent accent when it comes down to it because of the fact you're aiming between Galway and Sligo. You see, my mother's from Galway, my father's from Sligo, but you never really need to actually aim for a particular thing. It's just sort of going for a thing. you got to understand the pacing of the Irish accent in order to do one that's convincing. And it sort of just goes that way. So, uh, yeah, that's the way we're going to do this. So, you know, in the relation to the term lads, I'm definitely willing to fight for the term lads considering the fact that I can potentially carry myself off as one of you. So, yeah. that That's my validation to use the term lads. <laughs> Ducklin, wait a second. You own what you take. Irish gang. Ooh. <laughs> Safety will cost you. <laughs> this talent should be illegal. Irish is just faster in Hollow's books. <laughs> the Devil's Daughter Hollow, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, men, call Father Fitzpatrick. I think the girl from the village needs an exorcism again. Yes, I know. Read Psalms 32 and move onward from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Should August be showing up like yo? You know what? I'm filling the person's wish that they wanted me to do a character. I can just turn around and be August. I want to be August non-stop. Let's play something I haven't played in ages. Imperial Armaments. <laughs> Akash, and that's on voice acting. Hey, headline! Hey, I didn't realize you were in here. I'll catch you in a bit, headline. Okay, people want me to say some more Irish things. Um, let me see, what else can I say that's... Uh, oh. Ah, oh, there's a good one. Uh, God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm terrible. Headline, can I do a French accent? Not right now, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm taking my time and I'm trying to build my little repertoire of accents. <laughs> I cut off Barney's foot. <laughs> what are you? Deal one. Okay, let's just have something on the field. Damn, that's some that's some sass right there. I matter, you don't. What do we got here? Looking for trouble? It found you. Uh, I'm gonna pass this one because they could uh, they they. I could have won, but they would have outmatched, and I uh, and I want to get my other Legion Marauder on the field, because then I can dual attack, and if I dual attack, then I'll win. Well, not win, but it'll make shit easier for me. Uh, how are we feeling on Russian accents, though? Uh, I am not a Russian accent boy, but... I am down to learn, like I am in many things. Okay. Why am I just having my ass handed to me tonight? I I blame this on the fact that, like, Korea is awake. That's literally what I'm blaming this entire thing on. 
Korea is awake, therefore we are totally fucked. Uh. <laughs> Korea is awake, that's my answer. I won't play when Korea is awake next time. Let's go. Okay, let's just do this. Five four, try fighting that bitch. Uh Do I want Katarina or do I want Uh play when I uh, create a thing and then let's let's play Katarina. Then I can kill the little one. It's just in here. And then the next turn I can deal two damage to one of them, and then I don't even know. Oop, gotta go. Hell yeah, boy, get that win streak. Love uh love to mods and hollow. Dangerous waters indeed. Uh when I survive damage. Two damage to something and then four damage to them. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's be smart. We're gonna try and be smart now, guys, which is a rare occurrence, but let's do it. Might have done the stun, but Yeah. Heck it. <laughs> Deal one damage. One damage to the Nexus. That's Scout. Mm, I'm gonna let them get that point in damage. It's only a two. I can let that live. Uh... Oh damn, it's getting late. I should eat soon. They're gonna attack with everything. I know they are. I can feel it in my bones. Two, three, four, five. Come on, where's number six? Yep. Excuse me while I have my ass handed to me. And then block. Okay. And now we're all going to take a ridiculous amount of damage. Such little life. And... Return me to the sea. Okay. Okay, one more. One more. One more. One more. If I win the next one, then I'm going to keep going, but one more. One more. <clears throat> We're going to do one more, guys, okay? Yes, I'm deliberately doing... You know what? We're even going to go ranked on this one. Fuck you, Koreans. I, I mean, that that sounded bad out of context. Um, <laughs> oh, am I avoiding a question? What's the question? Uh, I, is, is there a question... I don't know. I, if I miss the question, just say it again in chat. Fuck it. Um... Hollow tisk tisk Korea be really handing it to you. you. You know what? I'm representing the UK right now on the international stage. So that's something that I've got to do. Hollow, you need a break. I, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. Uh, I have a good feeling about this one. Captain Scarlet. Wasn't that an old TV show? <laughs> one more. Famous last words. Bro, that's like literally every every H addicts thing ever. Uh, just one more till I quit. Um, 
uh, what do I look like? I look pretty similar to my profile picture. Um, it's literally just like dark, kind of curly hair. Um, tall, six foot five. Um, just, just, just think of like Evan Peters if the past five years hadn't treated him as nice. <laughs> Okay, I, I love you guys. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna blame this on the fact that I've been drinking Corona. I'm very obviously drunk, so uh. Oh god, they're summoning spiders. I hate them. They're summoning spiders because spider swarm is all people do. Um. Shuffle Lucian into your deck. Do I have a? Oh, okay. Rally. I see a thing I could do. Oh no, I don't see a thing I could do. I could play you though. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. It doesn't matter. That's just a little, a little, a little something, something. I can either go the Lucian route, play Senna, play aggressive, Fiora route. You're gonna play something that does one damage to my Lucian. I know you are. Yes, you are. Called it. Uh. Uh, Menton 6-5, yeah, that's that's why I am referred to as the lamppost. I I am the lamppost. I am the one in a you know what? We can use we can use their swarm against them. Let's use their swarm against them. We can be smart, use their swarm against them. Oh, Oz. Oz, you're in love with me. Defend me, please. Um, <laughs> Oz is in the chat. Defend me. What is worse, summoning spiders or ants the size of horses? Bruh, don't summon spiders the size of horses. The only reason I say that is because of the fact that if you summon spiders the size of horses, think of the webs. Huh? Think of the webs. Because they could spin these, these like, giant horse-sized webs. They would be a national terror. Like, people would be going out with there with, like, shotguns and shit. They would be, they'd be scared to leave home. Okay. I am a lineman for the county. Plus, I drive the main road. On guard. Okay, come on. Kill a thing to draw two. Okay. We can we can play this game. I can play this game as long as you can play this game. You know how this goes. Um Okay, well now you've said it, I'm not defending you. Oz, don't be so mean. I'm nice to you. I've been nice to you all week. Don't even. Drain four from a random ally. Are you literally killing all of your guys just so I don't get them? Bro, that's hashtag petty. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have a nightmare, a, a nightmare, a nightmare of whole size spiders tonight. Yes, horse size spiders. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay, you want a thing with barrier? Oh, that's fine. I can ha I can half swarm myself because I got loads of ones. Um, darkest dungeon failed. Yeah, darkest dungeon failed. Um, yeah, I I probably like it worked earlier <laughs> when I did the test, but. It decided to just not work more. Play you. I had a spider in my room. 
uh, that I lost and it bothered me so much I slept on the other side of the house. That's a mood. That's a mood. If if you don't see a spider, then it's probably like, I don't know, like down the back of your neck or something. Like, spiders are sneaky little bastards. Evil things. Evil creatures. Give two allies 3-3 three, three this round. Let's hit him with everything we got. Yep, that's fine. Burn out your burn out your swarm. We can do that. We're not going to suffer for it. You're strengthening your thresh, but now you I don't think you can play enough cards to offset that. I don't I don't think you can. Uh Hall's computer broke up with him so he isn't able to play Darkest Dungeon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. My computer decided to break up with me. You know what? I'm setting down the law. This is the last game. After this, I'm going to bed. Uh, not bed. Eat food. Eat food, then sleep. That's the way it works. Food, then sleep. Spiders be lurking like people in the Discord server. Obliterate an enemy with less health than me. If... Yeah, actually, yeah. Kill Senna, do it. Kill her. Wait, what? Lucian didn't level up? What the heck? Does obliterate not count as killing? The, 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 the thing literally is obliterate. Does it just stop it from existing then? Ugh. Whatever. What, what hollow? What color are my eyes? My eyes are brown. My eyes are brown like the tree trunks. <laughs> If you know the reference, please throw it out in chat. If you know the reference, throw it out in chat. <laughs> My eyes are as brown as the tree trunks. <laughs> oh god, I remember one time when I was a kid, I was playing the Transformers Risk like board game, and a spider fell from like the ceiling, and it was eating a wasp, and I was like, what the fuck is this? We could play that. Or I could play... Plus three, plus three. Which will give that... Six. Put you there. Put you here. Yeah, we can, we can work with these numbers. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh lord. Uh, nighty night, Sophie. Still not enough to kill me. Let's go. Uh, 3 3. I've got this thing, so I want to make my Lucian invincible. War Mother's cool. I've got to try and save my, uh, my mana. I could use a Grasp of the Undying. Okay, let's just pass. Let's pass. Let's play this smart and pass. Uh... No room for doubt. Yeah, attack when they least expect. I wonder if they'll just not do anything because they'll think I'm doing a feint. Which I could do. A feint would be a decent thing to do. <laughs> the undateables. Hey, Kirby got it. Kirby got it. Eyes are as brown as the tree trunks. <laughs> Love that shit. I don't know if anyone out here has, like, seen the undateables, but your eyes are as brown as the tree trunks is a fucking meme. Uh, uncooked egg. Hollow, I love you. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I love that. Thank you. You guys are sweet. <laughs> Don't know what I did to deserve all this, but... Summon. Uh, 
Uh, sketching while listening to your stream is the best thing that's happened to me in quarantine so far. Hey, that's... That's what I want this stream to be. It's just something casual you can have on in the background. Listen to me rant about things, talk about how there are YouTubes out, YouTubers out there that aren't real people. They're corporate entities designed to represent YouTube as a good face in the public environment because of the fact that the court of public opinion has already judged YouTube to be a uh, asset that's been found wanting. But whatever. Whatever. I'm a meme. Don't matter. Wait, why is that? Oh, that. You got Challenger. Oh, I hate you for getting that card. I hate you for getting that card. Unyielding Spirit. Listen, your life is sacrificed because of the fact that you're worth nothing to me. All he has to do is play a spell and he can completely fuck me up here. Um... God damn it, who let Hollow do a theory talk again? I, I, I'm sorry, Ars, okay? I'm out here living my best life. Yep. There's the spell that I knew would mess me up. He gets elusive now, which means that... But then again, the combat's already... How does that work? Okay, now you've thrown on a drain. I put you and you to spike each other. Let's, let's try this. Maybe this will be a meme. Hollow's a sweetie, just terrible at games. Kinda. I'll bring them peace. Who knows though, I might win this one. I've got a good feeling about this one, said every gambler ever before he lost the family's entire savings. Um. The Teletubbies are gonna blackmail Barney. God damn. What pictures the Teletubbies got? <laughs> I hate these fish people. I hate them. I hate them. Grasp of the Undying. Three. I need you to overplay your hand before I'm able to do that. Oh, and they're in the deep. Okay. But they've tossed cards, so they're going to be... Rolling in the deep. I'm so proud of this community. May we be consumed before we expire. All is salad. Salad is life. <laughs> salad is life. So we we are all salad. Except one meat. But you can have meat salad. You can have chicken salad. Meat salad. That's a brilliant idea. Just salad. Salad of meats. Lots of different meats just all turned together. Like some sort of dressing. Like a shoe. Yeah, I can work with that. Hey, hello. Well, you're fucked now, mate. Am I the only one to listen to Hollow to ramble to expand my vocabulary and pronunciation? I don't know, but it's pretty great. <laughs> oh, I hate your guts right now. Um... Let's do this and attack for the meme. We live here. I know you live here, but god damn it, I hope there's an oil spill, you fucking mer person piece of trash. Um no. Hey, take that. Goodbye. Hollow said salad theory out loud. My life is complete. I can expire in peace, Nazia. 
All hail the salad. We come from salad. We go back to salad. Oh, that card's just won me the game. Playing that War Mother card won me the game. I'm sure of it. Fast spell. Please don't have a counter, please don't have a counter, please don't have a counter, because we don't want you to have a counter. Hollow has the most specific insults and I'm living for it. Okay, you want to deal 7 damage to my Nexus, that's fine. Power to anything. Okay. Okay, you've got Elusive now. You're going to strike me, but next turn... Oh god, I hate your ass. Okay, my turn now. Go full attack as soon as it starts. Hey, look at that. I got the numbers game. And you pull you. Let's go. Um... Just a reminder, y'all, Hollow's been playing for like an hour since the man who plays a couple rounds. Listen, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> but I have a good feeling about this round, okay? I have a good feeling. Who knows, maybe one time I'll just play online poker with all of you. You can all just see me do that. How do you feel about that Hollow poker stream? Hollow throws his YouTube money away at strangers online. No, I'm good at poker. I'm good at poker. I'm a gambling man. But, you know, that's a thing. Dun, 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 dun. Do it for the Pride Month. Yes, I'm doing this for Pride. I'm doing this for, for Pride. I'm doing this for everyone on the LGBT plus fucking thing. I don't know how many letters are on it now. <laughs> okay. So what, you wanted to stealth Fizz? He's still gonna die, bitch. Okay, we're in a good position. I think we've got this one. I won't let you drain the per- that, I won't let you kill them. I'll, I'll just kill her first. Screw you. Fight me. Um. Oh, Darkest Dungeon. That's a good game. Yeah, it is. That was the original plan for the stream, but we've just decided to throw the plan out the window and do whatever. Hey, I got a rally. I got a rally. That means it's my turn now. And my turn means full attack. And I think we've won. I think we've won, guys. I think we've won. Drain four. Okay. Oh, you can survive if you drain four. Screw you. Heckin' no to that. Take... Take these numbers. We won. We won. At fucking last. At fucking last, we won. Um. Whew. Whew. 
And that was a ranked one, okay. 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 Oh. And on that note... Goodbye.